Welcome back trainers and well we're going to be going over a Pokemon Go news video. I like to wait nowadays, let all the news pile up and then we'll go ahead and just talk about all of it instead of bringing little bits of news here and there. So uh, all of these images are going to be used by Legends, a link down below so you can get a copy yourself. So taking a look at the month of October for the breakthrough box, you're going to have Yamask, which can potentially be shiny. And with the increased Cophagus usage because of the new moves, eight hey, might be pretty good. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. Genesect, and this is going to be the Douse, which is going to be water. We'll go over that more soon. And then you're going to see Altered Form Giratina, unfortunately. The Altered, I need the Origin from October 12th until the 22nd. And you're also going to be seeing Raid Hours on the 13th and the 20th, in which we're going to go over that as well towards the end. Now, this is interesting. Dark Ride with Sludge Bomb from October 22nd until November 5th. And it's also going to get a Raid Hour on the 27th as well as a shiny potential sludge bomb it's going to help it with those fairy typings is that actually going to work in pvp it's useless in uh rating regarding sludge bomb otherwise it's amazing so it's not a complete loss here you can go get those xl candies we'll talk about that it is interesting but with the charm doing so much damage it's still going to be pretty rough for it now taking a look you're going to have some megas and then you see that mega absol oh we're going over the mega absol stats don't worry i'm going to show you how viable it is compared to other dark types everything you need to know so make sure you hit that like button if you do enjoy these videos and i will be keeping you up to date mega gengar we already know is very good so if you need to stack up on some more mega energy we'll go for it Gotta love those rental megas. Joking. All right, so taking a look at our spotlight hours, which are going to be very important to go for. Okay, make sure you mark your calendars. So let's take a look. So on October 5th, you're going to be seeing Drift Blim, and you're going to be getting double XP for evolving. Definitely want to pursue this. It does have a shiny as well as usability in Go Battle League. Gengar, you need that. You want as many as you can get. You want as much XL candies, and you're going to be getting double Stardust for catching. So you definitely don't want to miss this, as well as a shiny potential on that. Gothita is going to be on the 19th. I guess this is going to be okay. If you need that XP and you're trying to get to 40, I would recommend that you, well... Double XP for catching, catch as much as you can, and then Honchkrow on the 26th, which is going to be double XP for evolving. Honchkrow, another good Pokemon, very classy. It is usable in raids as well as PvP, so you may want to get some of those. Now, taking a look at some more stuff that we have going on here. So, uh, we're going to be seeing that Community Day, Secrets of the Jungle, which we're going to talk about it here in a second. And then Niantic's birthday on October 6th. And when you do open the game, you're going to get a special free box. We'll have to see what that is going to be. And then, of course, probably, I would say, one of the best events in Pokemon. Because, I mean, they go all out. They don't even, you know, I, they don't really switch up the music for around the holidays, like Christmas or Thanksgiving or any other event. They do once in a while, like GoFest. But Halloween, it feels like ever since they ever started it, it's always been their highlight event for Pokemon Go. And, you know, that's pretty cool, right? I have no complaints or anything like that. Costume Pokemon will be appearing. Your favorite thing. You already know. All right. So you're going to be seeing some free boxes in the shop. Well, one coin on October 4th, 11th, 18th, and 24th. You're also, folks, here we go. Here we go. And then we're going to be following this up with some uh, constructive criticism here. You're going to be able to zoom in on your costume, your avatar, while you're switching your clothes. All right. Cool. Let's see why, or not why, but let's see how uh, zooming in is going to be helping us here all right so let's go ahead and uh, put on some different shoes really quick and I don't I don't understand why they haven't fixed this really and I don't understand why they haven't added some sort of different hairstyles for all kinds of ethnicities so look at the boots wow <laughs> we're gonna zoom in and take a real good look at that folks let's go all right so we're gonna go ahead and look at another pair these fit perfectly fine okay for whatever reason and then these pants uh they do not pair well with a lot of tops. Like that belt just goes through. And then you got some more fun pants here. So you're going to be able to zoom in even closer to get a good look on that glitch. Awesome. All right. <laughs> it just had to, see, had to do it, didn't I? All right. So Community Day for October is going to be on October 9th from 11 a.m. till 5 p.m. In which the featured Pokemon is going to be Duskull. There you go. Going into Dusknor finally. And it is going to be learning a Shadow Ball. All right, so, okay, uh, it's not really that good, unfortunately, but it is still a community day with fun things to do, so I'm not really complaining. Now, what you've been waiting for here, this is some good stuff. Mega Absol is going to have a max EP at level 40 of 3,311, 
It's going to have HP of 163, attack 314, defense 130, which is a little low, but it is Absol after all. And at level 50, max CP is going to be 3,651. So there you go. Finally, Mega Absol is going to be getting something that it needs. This Pokemon is good. It's just a little glassy and it doesn't hit hard enough to be kind of really viable in raids as far as pvp still a little glassy mega absolute and pvp is for when you battle your friends only so uh but as far as going up against raids is mega absolute with a dark type boost oh you better believe it folks this is looking pretty stinking juicy y you know just that perfect food nice and flavorful on the inside and crispy on the outside love it all right so taking a look at the dark types you have shadow weavile of course, the shadow's at the top. Of course, the shadow's at the top. And then you have Mega Absol. So for the people who don't like to invest in shadows or just don't do that, Mega Absol will be the key there. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that also do not like the Mega Evolution you know, mechanics, how you have to rent it and get the candy. Hey, hey, I'm not the one who makes the game. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just bringing you the news, okay? So Mega Absol is going to be doing pretty good with Snarl and Dark Pulse. Pretty good DP, DPS. All right, so as you've seen there, Mega Absol will be outpacing a lot of Dark Tides, but uh, it is going to be a bit classy. And then you're going to have these different raid hours, October 6th, and then October 13th, 20th, and 27th. Go ahead and pause it so you can take a look there. Giratina, do you want to go for it? I say, yeah, you want to get those candies, even if you're stacking them up for the other form, the origin form. Well, it's all transferable, right? They're all the same candy. All right, so taking a look at the secrets of the jungle here, as you can see, it's going to be going down October 1st until the... October 10th, until the October 10th, whatever that heck that was. Uh, so, Zarud. Yeah, here's what I was talking about. The weaknesses are way off the chart. It is way too vulnerable. I'm not saying it's not going to be good. It also has a lot of resistances, but man. All right, now before I let you all take off here, let's go ahead and take a look at its moves. Vine Whip, Bite. For the quick moves, for the charge moves, we have Power Whip, Dark Pulse, and Energy Ball. Now, what does this scream to you in the Ultra League? This screams getting walled by Mandibuzz. <laughs> hey, it's still going to have a place. It's still, still going to do something, but uh, a lot of weaknesses. We'll have to see. Thank you for watching, and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care, trainers. Fantastic.